Hi, Haley. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. How are you? Great. We should be doing this over breakfast. I'm uh, I, I just some eggs and coffee. That would have been nice. Something. I know. You're right. Anyway, congratulations on season two of Dickinson. What an amazing show this is. Uh, and it, it's one of those shows that keeps everybody guessing because is it mm. is it biography? Is it a satire? Is it, um, yeah, it's, it's just great that way. The writing is so crisp. Thank you for saying that. It is. It's, um, it keeps me guessing too. <laughs> Going back for season two uh, it was so exciting to just sort of dig deeper into what this show really is. And um, as we continue to make these discoveries and find what, what that is, what it is, um, these characters are growing and uh, it's all it's all happening and it's all coming together. And, and with it, we get to tell a story that touches on very relevant subject matters and, you know, it, it's, it goes to so many different places, dark and light um, and funny and not funny, you know? So uh, it's it's a dream as an actor to be able to play in something that is so many things in one. I think anytime the world tells you to be one thing, you should rail against it. We should all take a mm -hmm. lesson from Emily. Absolutely. I agree. And your character, I mean, she is such, she's so deep and yet so light at the same time. As an actress, that's got to be a dream. It is. I mean, it's it's wonderful to have, you know, there there is so much, um, I mean, built up tension and sadness and, and confusion and loneliness within this character. And, and sometimes it's masked by her humor or, you know, silly gestures. Um, and, and I think that's a very real thing. I think, you know, I, I know I've done that in the past. It's, you know, you try and you try and cover. Um, you don't want to expose that 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 those parts of yourself. And Emily um, is, is figuring out how, how to either mask it or how to, how to expose it. Um, and um, yeah, it is, it is a dream to have those layers. As a singer, as a musician, do you find rhythms and cadences in, in Emily's character? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, her poetry definitely, well, some of her poems lend itself to that. Others don't necessarily, which make them harder to sort of dissect, which I love about it because it kind of makes you go back. It keeps you coming back. Um, but yeah, I, I, I do think that that's um, something I, yeah, we'll pick up on in the writing. Tell me a little bit about your creative team too, because uh, these guys are geniuses. I mean, uh, wow, what production values you have probably the greatest grips and gaffers, you know, known to man working on the show. It, I mean, the crew on this show, and we were so lucky to have so many of them come back for season two, um, are so amazing and so wonderful. And, you know, a lot of times, you know, we obviously work very long hours and it's a very tiring uh, job that in many ways is not as glamorous as people think. And, um, it's very easy to sometimes get into this rhythm of treating it like a, like it's a, it's, I mean, it is a job, right? But this didn't feel like that w w with anyone and the crew, especially it, it, I don't think I've ever, I don't know, experienced something where it feels like every person involved is just so aware, so present and so passionate about the project. I mean, everybody was so tuned in and. Um, just, it felt like a real family. And again, like I said, that we had so many of the same people come back for season two, which again, just felt like a, a, a family, which um, I've learned is a very important uh, element to have in all of this. Well, it all starts from the top. So you set the pace for that as, wow. uh, as the star of the show. And it's such a pleasure to catch up with you. I, you know, we talked on True Grit, my favorite version of that movie, by the way. Thank you. you. Did such a great job. Thank you so much. And have a great holiday. You too. Thank you.